Welcome back. The pride and joy of the McPherson College Auto Restoration Program rolled out of the garage this morning for a public send off before it hits the road for a prestigious car show in California. KSN's Jason Lamb was in MacTown this morning and Jason, you say this car is immaculate. We talked about the leather. Oh yeah, the, the leather <laughs> smells unbelievable. You know how it, that new car smell. Oh yeah. Yeah, magnified. It's, it's incredible. Years and years of auto restoration students have come and gone, and the best of them had their hands in refurbishing this 1953 Mercedes-Benz 300S, all leading up to this point. The classic car is ready to be displayed among the most historic, stylish, and beautiful automobiles in the world. Mercedes-Benz. There she is, the culmination of years of diligent hard work by auto restoration students at McPherson College. The classic Mercedes-Benz pulled up to a spot on campus this morning for a send-off before it's loaded up for a trip to California. We didn't even wake up this morning. We've been working since yesterday morning to get it all finished up. So a great dedicated team of students that just worked through the night to make sure it was ready for the day. Amanda Gutierrez is the VP for Automotive Restoration. It's really hard to put into words because it's, on the one hand, it feels like it's been a project that's gone on forever, probably especially to the students and, and the staff members who've worked on it. But at the same time, I can't believe that it's actually here. And we have a week that is going to be packed with activities, and we're taking about 20 students with us that are Pebble Beach scholars or students who've worked on the team. Uh, to get this Mercedes-Benz to Pebble Beach, and so we're, we're just going to overwhelm them with a McPherson College presence. Together. Thank you to Amanda for keeping it going and having the guts to say we want to compete to win at Pebble Beach. Folks, it is a great day to be a Bulldog. Greg Elvin is a McPherson College grad who worked on the Mercedes-Benz in the early stages of restoration. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, when we first started the project, I had really no idea what we were getting into. Uh, and then as we went along and, and understanding more of the prestige of Pebble Beach and really the lofty goals of, of what the program uh, was trying to accomplish, yeah, it's, it's extremely significant, especially since it is student work and it's not professionals. President Michael Schneider referred to the restored classic car as a symbol of McPherson College. It symbolizes two things. One, a level of excellence and commitment to that excellence. But I think it also demonstrates the importance of liberal arts and technology and how those work together. So the students don't just learn the technical aspect of restoring a car, but they also have to learn all of the engineering, the mechanics, the communication that's required to work with outside vendors or with each other even as they work through this project. I mean, it's a great symbol of the program and the university as far as um, just striving to be as good as we can. And um, I mean, that's the nature of, of Pebble Beach and uh, just to, to go out and compete with the best of the world and, and to be as prepared as you can be. The 72nd Pebble Beach Concours de la Gance begins August 20th. That's when the finest collector cars, including the McPherson College entry, will be lined up on the 18th hole at Pebble Beach. Mac College is sending between 40 to 50 wow. students and staff, and they expect another 100 plus, maybe 200 of their alums to attend. We talk so much about the car, but the story really is all of the people who have had their hands in this restoration and the stories and the days and all the hours that have gone into this. Yeah, thing. all the cars that are going to be on display at this prestigious event were professionally yeah. remodeled or restored. This one, all done by students. Cool stuff. Jason, thanks. We'll be right back.